This is Ashraf 3, a self-contained complex where nearly 3,000 exiled Iranians live and work in the hills of Albania. It's home to the Mujahideen i Khalq organization, or MEK, which is dedicated to toppling the regime in Tehran. The complex includes this imposing museum, documenting political repression in Iran. The group was once designated as a terrorist organization by the United States and the European Union, but both Washington and Brussels delisted it years ago, and MEK leaders say they're committed to peaceful struggle. <laughs> نویسندگان خواننده نوازنده انواع هنرهامون هم در خدمت مقاومت مردم ایران The group now has powerful friends in Washington including President Donald Trump's personal lawyer I, I should tell you at the beginning I'm only answering questions about Iran the MEK their fight for freedom Rudy Giuliani has reportedly been paid by the group. Last year, he visited Ashraf 3 in a personal capacity and told an RFERL reporter there that the group was optimistic and determined. Others in Washington are concerned. Former U.S. State Department counterterrorism coordinator Daniel Benjamin said MEK members were Islamo-Marxists with American blood on their hands. Michael Rubin, a former Pentagon advisor on Iran and Iraq, said the group resembles a cult. In Ashraf 3, there are no children. Men and women sleep in separate quarters and are expected to devote all their efforts to the cause. Much of the fight takes place online. <laughs> وارد خود جامعه میشین از طریق سوشال میدیا با تک تک اپ را تلاش میکنیم دردشون رو بشنویم مثل همین امروز یکی از زندان گوهردش یک پیام صوتی فرستاده بود میدیا رپورتس هف سایتید دفکترز هو سای دیس از اترول فارم یوزنگ فیک اکاونتس تا سپرد پروپاگاندا و دیس انفرمیشن The Iranian government makes similar accusations, while the MEK says that such claims are a smear campaign. The MEK's message that Iran commits widespread human rights abuses has been well documented by non-governmental groups, media and Western diplomats. But the MEK itself remains highly controversial, embraced by some, regarded by others with profound suspicion.